Obviously, you have to be a reasonably capable pilot to do the sort of things we're doing. Uh, not exceptional, but, you know, capable. I think the most important thing in terms of flying is to have an appreciation of what's reasonable to do and what's not. You know, doing things for the first time, you can never guarantee entirely the safety. It's a mix, really, of test flying. Some of it is, is extremely mundane. Um, so a lot of it, it can be gathering performance data and whatever. And then there's the other side of it, uh, particularly things like handling qualities, where you're trying to tune the flight control laws. That's where it comes down to much more gut feeling, trying to put yourself in the place of the, the average airline pilot and say, OK, I, I can fly that, but then I've been practicing this all day. You know, is a, an airline pilot at the end of a, you know, a long overnight flight in difficult weather conditions, is he going to find it easy to fly? So it's, it becomes much more subjective and you're relying on, on experience, uh, what you've seen people do in the past and how it feels for you. I haven't participated in a, in a first flight of a, of a, a brand new prototype airplane like this, this before. I did a first flight of the second A380 that flew, and that's not really the same thing because by that stage the airplane was reasonably well met. So I know this is going to be, uh, in that sense, uh, a new experience uh, for me. It's something that a lot of test pilots never get to do a, a first flight like this, so I think it's, uh, I, I'm very lucky to be in the position I'm in at the moment. We can do it. I'm sure a lot of people will do it.